everyone, welcome back. So last time I did a skincare video, I showed you my morning skincare routine, and now it's time to show you my nighttime routine. So during the day, all I really focus on is cleansing my face, applying moisturizer, serums, and then applying sunscreen. And that's pretty simple. During the day, your skin goes through way more than what you think. You're still exposed to the UV rays, you're still exposed to pollution in the air, and you're still exposed to dirt. At night, your skin really needs to reset itself and just detox from all that. So there's a lot more that I put into my nighttime skincare routine and a lot of it is vitamin C based because that will really help your skin do its work at night. So you're not going to see me using the same cleansers and moisturizers at night that you see me using during the daytime. So let me show you the steps that I take to cleanse my skin at night. During the day, you may see me using the Deep Cleanse by Tatcha, but at night I use the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I do want everyone to know that you can still use the Deep Cleanse at night even though that there's another option. Like I said, I just like to mix things up at night. It says that you can apply one to two pumps, but one is honestly all I need. The reason why they suggest that you can also use two pumps is because this oil is amazing for taking makeup off of your face. I obviously am not wearing makeup, so I don't need two pumps. I follow the 60 second rule as I've mentioned in my first video. It really helps soften the skin and it puts the product to work. You'll see less breakout if you are following the 60 second rule, which means just pretty much, you know, rubbing the product in for 60 seconds. For this specific product, I like to rinse off with warm water. Before I actually wash this product off, I like to go over my face with the Clarisonic. I only do this every few days because the Clarisonic, it is deep cleansing, but I don't want to be too harsh on my skin, so I make sure that I'm not doing too much. And I'm actually going to keep my face damp right now because I am actually going to exfoliate. I use the Tatcha Rice Polish and they actually have different rice polishes that you can use. One's for if you have oily skin, dry skin, just want to hydrate it. This one I think is a good middle ground for all types of skin. It's really just a powder. I'm actually going to pour a little bit and I'm careful when I pour it because this thing loves to let a lot of it loose. I am not trying to waste this product. So so this is the texture of the product. I actually only use a little bit of it and I do like a little bit per section of the face because it literally spreads everywhere like instantly and I love it. And this is actually a foaming enzyme powder. Tatcha says that you can use this every day but honestly for my skin personally I don't want to do too much on it so once every few days is perfect for me. I miss this area sometimes and I notice like pimples will be right here. Those little devils. My skin already feels so soft. It just feels so fresh right now. And now I'm going to pat dry. You just want to lightly pat it. I like to use a pore vacuum to get rid of some of the blackheads that I may have. I turn it up to the highest setting. I just spend some time in each area. You do want to hold it for a little bit, but you don't want to hold it for too long because this can actually bruise your skin. I have a problem with blackheads. That's my weakness, so... This is a great tool and many companies actually sell this. Make sure to read the ratings as well before you buy. You may have some that are cheaper than the others and may not actually work. I only use a face mask once a week. I have multiple face masks from different brands, but the one that I'm using tonight is the Vitamin C Radiance Mask. And it's purple. I love it. It's so cute. I get a little scoop of that. I'm actually using the mirror here to apply it really gets in there. I just apply this all over. Any extra that's left, I also put on my neck. And this is good because it has vitamin C in it. And as I said, it's really good to use vitamin C and A in your skincare routines, especially at night. Making sure I didn't miss any areas over here. I just love the purpleness that it has. It makes it fun. Barney vibes. Now what I'm gonna do now that I'm done applying is I'm gonna wait 15 minutes. So now it is time to wash the mask off. Make sure I'm getting all of it off. There's times it likes to stay. I'm just like looking purple all day. 
And now this is actually one of my favorite parts. What is very important before we apply our serums, we apply an essence. And this is the Tatcha Essence. This is something that can be done nightly. I put a drop, like just one pump, and I put it all over my face. It allows the serum that you use to sink into your skin even more so that you get more effect out of the serum that you're using. This one's actually my favorite. It clumps the skin and it just makes it feel really soft. It's like amazing. Then I let it dry off before I apply my serum. The serum that I usually use is the Vitamin C Serum by Tatcha, and it's for all skin types. It's actually helped with my blemishes more than anything. It's actually a great duo with the mask that I just used, and as you see, they are identical twins. Literally. Same color, same design, great duo. Tonight, I am actually going to use another serum. This is their Luminous Dewy Night Concentrate. It can be used in place of the serum. And the reason why I am using this tonight instead of my Violet C Brightening Serum is because I did an unboxing video of the Luminous Glow Set. I want you to see it put into place. It's like gel, like jello, and it like jiggles. And it lasts a long time. I've been so impressed with how many uses I've gotten out of it. And I got a little scoop here. It's actually more than what I usually use. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my hand. And this here is actually like sort of like a solid texture until you start rubbing it in and then you see it really like liquefy and it's amazing. It just feels so good applying, especially after you take the mask off and put the essence on or see how I could like turn the spoon and it's literally in place, like it's so concentrated. And with this, a little actually goes a long way. That's why tonight I was like, oh, you leave it on overnight, of course, and when you wake up, your skin just looks so good. When you consistently use these products, like the results are phenomenal. At first, it was really indented, and after a while, it sinks into place, and it looks like you never ever even used it. Do you see just how like shiny and glowy it already looks? This is my favorite toner. It's called Bayer's Facial Mist. It's witch hazel and rose petal. My freshman year of college, I had a skin infection literally break out. And it was like not just on my face, but it was in other places of my body as well. I was trying so many things to get rid of the skin infection and nothing would work. Actually, almost a month went on and I didn't see any results. Then I just looked up, I said, how can I fix this? Like skin infection, what helps? And a page recommended rose water. And so I drank rose water, but also I looked into getting a rose water toner and this was it and literally it helped me so much. I started using this, eventually everything scabbed and then it went away. I was just mind blown and then I realized it's important to have a toner anyway in your skincare routine. Toners just like tone the skin, gets rid of dirt and blemishes and whatnot and I'm just gonna spray this. I use this at night only. Like I said, your skin does a lot when you're sleeping, so it's really best to save your toner at night because it just works well with the other products and it helps regenerate your skin at night. After that dries, it's now going to be the final step in the skincare routine. Now, this is one of the three Tatcha moisturizers that I have. This is called the Silk Cream, and the reason why I'm using this tonight is because I exfoliated my skin. As you can see, I would say Tatcha is pretty much color-coded. If you use stuff of the same color together, it really works well. This is made out of silk, and I just like that silky feeling after I've really deep cleansed and taken care of my skin. It instantly just like spreads all over. It's so easy to apply. It doesn't fight you on anything. You know how some moisturizers are just so thick that you really have to get in there to get it to spread around? This one, mm -mm, it really does its job well. And I would say this adds dewiness as well because literally... One of the final steps that I love to do at night is I like to take care of my lips. Now, not only do I have a blackhead problem, but my bottom lip chaps like crazy. I'm just calling myself out. I'm putting myself out on the spot, telling you all my imperfections. I like to put on a lip treatment to help hydrate the lips and also prepare it for the exfoliation that I do on it. I'm actually using the Fresh Sugar Lip Wonder Drop, and I apply one drop. It spreads all over, and it has a nice scent to it. And then what I'm using next is the Honey Lip Scrub by Lush and it's actually really affordable. This thing is $10 and you may think $10 for that little thing. I've had this for six months already and I wouldn't say I'm even halfway finished with it if I'm being honest with you. And usually it's good to have a brush for this but tonight I'm just gonna get a little bit and then I'm gonna rub it. 
and I really get in there because there's times where I've exfoliated my lips and there's still dead skin and it's like because I didn't rub them hard enough. It says it's honey, but I don't know why it tastes like Coca-Cola. Like, I don't know why, but I don't taste honey at all. I really taste Coca-Cola. I have two options that I usually do after I exfoliate my lips. I use the Josie Moran Pure Argan Oil. This one's actually really good. I use it for my hair. I also use coconut oil. I just like to be as natural as possible. Argan oil is pretty natural too. This is a clean brand as well. Josie Moran, she has good products. I use an ultra hydrator by her as well. Tonight, I'm using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It moisturizes them and then when you wake up in the morning, your lips are so soft and they feel really good and they look plump. It actually comes with a cute little brush that you use. A little goes a long way with this as well. I've had it for about six months as well and I've only used that much. I make sure to use this at least once a week and then I just apply it. And I'm always in love with how glossy it makes my lips look. I think it goes well with the dewy look that these skincare products give me. And then that's that. I just close the lid and I pack the brush up. Well, that's all there really is to my nighttime skincare routine. I hope that you learned something from this and that it inspires you to take care of your skin. If you have products that you use that help you, good for you. This is just really more about the steps in cleaning your face at night. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.